We're back. We're going to uh, work today to install our universal joints. Um, a couple of you said you might be interested in that, so we're going to talk about what you need and how to do it and uh, what uh, in is involved with that. It's a pretty simple procedure, but uh, you could still mess it up. So we're going to talk about how to do it the right way. All right, so here's some of the basics of what you're going to need. Of course, we have our drive shaft. Um, have the universal joint. Now I highly recommend um, avoid OEM parts. New old stock, manufactured, original parts, junk. Um, if you want something that really lasts with uh, quality, um, get the cheapest option at Advanced Auto. Um, that's what's going to you know hold up in the long run. So everyone says OEM, it's not true. Cheap stuff from AutoZone, Pep Boys, Advanced Auto, that's where the quality is. They don't tell you that because they don't want you um, to take advantage of that. So I'm telling you right here, that's the good stuff. So we have our universal joint. Um, it comes with the snap rings. This comes with four in case it's in a, like a, in, enclosed on all sides. Ours is only on two, so you'll have two extra snap rings, which is good because we're going to break those probably. Um, it's good to have a couple sockets, some round stock. I use this bushing, um, things that are close to that size uh, to press the uh, bearing cap in. So I have brass punch, screwdriver, uh, needle nose, little oil in case you need it, a rag, and the most important is a blowtorch. Um, you're definitely going to need that. Um, not for installing the bushings. We're going to toast marshmallows when we're done, right? Mm -hmm. So. Definitely need that. We have the tools, we have the part, um, we're going to get started, but the, probably the number one tip I have that most people overlook when doing a universal joint um, is uh, staying hydrated. So make sure you uh, stay hydrated when you do this. First step, uh, take your U-joint and carefully twist and pull. You're going to take off, um, see there are needle bearings in there, so don't jostle them around too much. We want to take off all four of these. You want to don't damage that seal. Um, we're taking off the other two just so they're not in the way and so they don't fall off accidentally. Um, it's up to you. I like to wipe this grease off. I know this sounds counterintuitive but um, that's just some place for dirt or metal chips or whatever to stick to. So um, we'll make sure it's good and greased up when we put it back together. Um, if you went nuts with the paint you're going to want to take a little sandpaper or, or paint thinner and clean them off. You don't want to fight that as you're putting it in. Um, so paint, rust, grease, mouse droppings, whatever is stuck in there, we need to get it out and make sure it's... As we get ready to install this, you need to take note of the grease fitting. Okay, so think about where your drive shaft is going and what it's attaching to. In my experience, um, putting the, the grease fitting pointing back at you, um, towards the shaft is better because that's going to be pointing uh, away from the differential housing or the transmission. I like to start with um, pressing one of the caps in. Uh, just start it by hand and I'm just using a vise. You can use a hammer, uh, a C-clamp, a press, whatever you have. If you have this cleaned out it should not take a ton of force uh, to press this in. So if you want to wipe a little oil in there, you can also And you're going to take your grease fitting, make sure it's pointing the way you want. Start one end in and slide the other end in. And now we're going to take this and make sure it gets in there. If you mess with that too much, all those needle bearings fall down and they'll get in the bottom and you won't be able to press this all the way together. So now we're just going to go flush Alright, so then you put that. it in there. Make sure you have a socket or something that fits just right. Get it centered. Um, and then we're going to start pressing this in. I like to keep an eye on this. Make sure your grease fitting is not getting smashed or make sure that's moving and free the whole time. Pressing this in, um, you can take it out and check. We just want to go about to where our snap ring will fit in there. It's okay if you go a little bit past right now because uh, we're going to put the other All right, so in. now we have the one side in and we're going to press in this other side. Wait a second. What? Alright, you gotta get all the marshmallows out before you can do that. I don't know. Maybe the blowtorch was a bad idea. Um, then we're gonna take our other cap, make sure all the bearings are in the right spot. Uh, get it started as square as possible by hand. When you have two flat surfaces like this, it usually isn't a problem, but you don't want to go in and 
all cockamamie. Okay, now as it's starting, you don't want it, this U-joint to be in the wrong spot, so really go slow here. And then once you get it in about um, a quarter inch, I like to slide the U-joint so it's into the cap that we're pressing. That makes sure it's um, not binding. And like I said, every now and then, that should move very need freely. a water break. <clears throat> So now that we're hydrated, marshmallows are out of the way, we're ready to press this in the rest of the way. So, um, try to hold that there. If you have a like an arbor press, that would be ideal because they're vertical, so you don't have to worry about your uh, bushing sliding around. So that has to stay right in the center. All right, so we're gonna press that in. We wanna make sure your joint stays free and we only go in as far as we need to get to that snap ring. This will get tighter because as we push, it's gonna start pushing that cap. Um, I don't like to put the other snap ring in until it's where I want because then it's, you'll end up, if you have to push it back the other way and the snap ring's in, the snap ring will be stuck from all the pressure on it. So keep them both out until you're completely done. I just felt it kind of get tight, so that means we're against the other bearing cap. It's a little bit tighter, but not bad. The uh, bearing caps are pressed in. It looks like they're in both, or both sides are in all the way, and our U-joint is still free. So, uh, these, this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just grab the snap ring, compress it, watch your fingies, and it should go down in and click. Boom, perfect. So, okay, we are um, pretty much done. Um, all finished, we got both snap rings in, moves freely. We got the other one done. It's just a repeat, they're exactly the same. Um, just keep in mind the grease fitting. This end uh, goes down at the differential, so the fitting is pointing back towards the transmission. Um, all right, so we're all done. Uh, we're gonna get this bad boy installed. Um, the best part about done this project is we get to reap the benefits, and you have a nice rotisserie uh, swivel marshmallow roasting stick and just feel really proud about what you've done.